<sighs> what is up, guys? Welcome to my bed. Oh, I got a new tattoo. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up, it's Tachi, and welcome to Back to My Channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, today's video, we are going to be doing a reading your assumptions about me and reacting. Before we do that, though, this video is brought to you by Squarespace, online tool to help you build your own website. I'll talk about that later. Let's get into the video. So I asked you guys to send in those assumptions on Insta. I am a completely different person. 2020 changed me. Or maybe I just grew up a lot. I just grew a lot. I, you know, I came out of the closet. I discovered my style. I discovered who I want to be. I'm becoming more confident than ever. It's a good time. Uh, there's been lots of ups, but also lots of downs. Honestly, my brain is all over the place, but I'm excited to be here with you guys filming this video right now. All right guys, so I asked you to send in your assumptions about me on my Instagram uh, and we're gonna just go through and read them out. I haven't read any of these. I want them to be like fresh reactions because I have a feeling some of them are gonna be a little bit offensive. I don't really know how I'm gonna feel about doing this. I'm really just putting myself out here on a limb and we're really just gonna dive right in. I only show a certain amount of my life on the internet. So there's a lot of things that I'm sure you guys assume about me that are either very correct and very accurate and something I don't choose to share or something that's very inaccurate and just makes sense off of like my online persona and like how you guys perceive me. You're really clever and love maths. No, I'd say I'm definitely like a clever person, but I'm so, so terrible at math. It is embarrassing and um, I it's okay. I'm okay with that. I've come to terms with being like really freaking bad at math because uh, I'm, I'm good at other things like art, but math, mm -mm, not for me. You can get overwhelmed because you care about others. That I would say is very accurate. I get really, really overwhelmed, especially with reading a lot about current events. Um, I tend to have a lot of empathy and I empathize a lot and I feel things very, very deeply and um, I try to, you know, not let things affect me but they often do and I get a bit overwhelmed with either the situation of the world or the people around me and um, yeah, I would say I just care a lot. You liked school a lot. Mm. <laughs> No, I really didn't like school at all, actually. I always kind of felt like an outcast at school. I didn't really have very many friends in school. Middle school was different, but like, I mean, I don't even know what middle school was. Middle school was like an experience for me. I only went to traditional high school for two years and then I switched to online school, which kind of shows that like, I didn't really like school very much, but um, I didn't really make all too many friends like in my own grade. All my friends were always older. So I knew I wasn't gonna go to college and I was going to a college prep school, so I was like, why am I wasting my time? Uh, and then I went to online school and I finished as fast as possible, graduated at 17 and um, was very happy and now I haven't done school for three years. And uh, yeah, you care so much about your fans in quotations. This is absolutely accurate, 100%. I care about you guys so much and uh, reading your DMs, seeing your messages, your comments literally means the world to me. Anytime one of you guys comes up to me in public, like I actually just get so happy and so full of like love and joy and connecting with you guys is my absolute favorite thing in the entire world and when it's safe to i really really want to do more meetups because i feel like i took that for granted before like covid happened and everything i just love connecting with you guys so much hearing your stories hearing how i may have inspired or helped you in any way shape or form and i just absolutely love you guys but also this term fans, um, I've never referred to you guys as my fans. I don't know, I feel like celebrities have fans and like YouTubers and influencers have followers. I feel like it's different. I don't know, the word fans just like, cause I'm just like a regular old Joe, like just we're all doing regular old Joe things. But um, I would love to like come up with a name for my supporters because I love to like address you guys. I don't know if we could do something like having to do with water or um, something having to do with the environment or something that just kind of like relates to me if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comments below because I Really want to refer to you guys as something cute like a cute name. I mean, I've literally been doing YouTube for like six Years I, we haven't come up with a name for like this fandom or whatever, you, you know, like the vibes like, you know, the vibes you fake your voice How what you don't like wearing feminine clothes? Right now, I'm in a place in my life where I don't really like feminine clothing. I feel so much more confident wearing 
Did my camera die? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's to be expected uh, because I just, I'm just not that good at planning things. Let's get back to it though. I uh, did do some snooping while my camera was charging at these and uh, very interesting. We're gonna keep going. I believe we were on the assumption that I don't like wearing feminine clothes. Right now, at this time of my life, I don't like wearing feminine clothes. I love wearing more traditionally masculine clothes. I just feel so much more like myself and feel so much more confident than I ever have dressing the way that I do. I uh, actually have dressed like this for a good amount of time, but I never posted it online and I would dress super feminine and I acted super feminine for a really long time because I was really afraid of people knowing that I was bisexual. I hadn't come to terms with it myself. I hadn't accepted it for myself and I just wasn't ready yet. So I dressed super feminine and I also love wearing feminine clothes, but I think right now I just feel personally more confident in the way that I've been dressing recently. You're the happiest you've been in a while right now. I am the happiest I've been in a while right now. Uh, I have been dealing with same anxiety recently, but it's something that I've been working with coping with and uh, just doing my absolute best to be my best and I've just done a lot of inner work and have worked a lot with therapists and I've just really started to fall in love with myself and that's like this is like the first time I feel like I've really been able to say that like I actually like myself and it took me a long long time to get here and I definitely want to do some more videos on kind of how I became this way so let me know if you guys would be interested in that but yeah I'm definitely the happiest I'd say that I've been ever especially because I just feel so much more like myself now that I've come out and to any of my queer followers like I'm sure you guys can probably identify with that just because like you just feel so much more free to like be yourself I, I don't know at least that's how I feel you have mixed feelings about being a model you guys know this I uh, went through a lot of hardship being a model I struggled a lot with my body image while I was modeling and now that I'm not modeling anymore I'm a lot more confident I definitely say I 100% prefer being an influencer over being a traditional model. You're a very funny person. I'd say I definitely got a bit of a sense of humor, but it's hard for me to like be funny without like being around other people. Like I feel like other people bring out the funny in me. Like I'm not just like naturally funny. Like some people are just like funny. I don't know if I'm like funny. I think I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. You like your blonde hair better. Ugh. No, actually I, <sighs> I have mixed feelings about my blonde hair. I've been blonde for like a minute, like a few months now, and I still don't really recognize myself. I look in the mirror and I'm like, I think I definitely prefer my brown hair. I definitely like it short. I prefer my hair to be short and brown, but because it was so difficult to get it this light, I'm not ready to go back to the brown because I'm not gonna be able to go back to blonde. And like, I just, I have mixed feelings about my hair. Like, I don't know if I want it brown or blonde or whatever. And I don't know. You're a different person in real life versus on social media. Honestly, no. Like, what you see is what you get. I, I'm definitely a little bit more vulgar. I swear a lot in person. I'm kind of used to not swearing on the internet just because I grew up not swearing on the internet. You want to delete your old videos pre-recovery slash coming out because that's not you now. No, absolutely not. Like, that's my entire kind of like, you can see my growth up to this point from when I was literally 14 years old. And I think that's freaking amazing. It's like my life diary is on the internet. Am I a very different person? Yes, but like everyone changes as they grow up, you know, like obviously I'm a different person from when I was 14 to 20 years old and I'm growing, changing, expanding. Uh, my desires are changing. My personality is changing every single day as everyone else's is as well. So I'm an ever evolving person and I like to see that kind of change. Do I cringe at my old self? Absolutely. I definitely cringe at my old self, but Maybe when I'm 25, I'm gonna cringe at this version of myself. But no, I don't wanna, I'm never gonna delete like anything. Like it's all there. It's all, you can see whatever you wanna see. Before we continue, let me tell you a little bit about Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are so many different ways that you can use Squarespace to help build your online presence. They have blogging tools to help you tell your stories, share updates and post photos and video. You can categorize, share, and schedule posts to make your content work for you. They also have email campaigns, social media integrations. Squarespace can authenticate your social media platforms, allowing you to auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr. Squarespace also has many tools to help you manage your workflow, whether that be scheduling a social media post, scheduling a blog post, or categorizing your projects into different placements like needs review or is ready to go. You can also manage your traffic overview, see how your visits, unique visitors, and page viewers trend over time. Gain insight into the top traffic sources, products, 
device types, browsers, and operating systems by visits. You can also easily sell subscriptions to products, services on a weekly or monthly basis to generate recurring revenue and build customer loyalty. Squarespace makes it so easy to run your business online and I would highly recommend checking them out. You guys can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, just go to squarespace.com backslash Tatiana Ringsby to get 10% off your first website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace, let's continue on with the video. You're not a jealous person, I'm not a jealous person. I feel like there's enough room for everyone, we all have our life paths and we're all on them and I'm happy for someone if they find success and um, I like to get inspired but I don't, I, I, jealousy is an emotion and a, and a feeling that I just think is a bit unnecessary. Even like in relationships, like if I'm with you, I feel like I've only been with people that I've felt like very much committed to and I also like to show off my partner so like if someone else is interested in my partner, that's fine because they're mine, you know? Like I, I don't know, I'm just not a very jealous person. You were that theater kid in high school. Yes, I was. You're brutally honest to people and sometimes they take offense even though you mean kindness. This is nothing but the facts. I am very straight up. I'm really, really honest. Perhaps I give my unsolicited opinions at times. Uh, I've definitely been called out for that a little bit, but all of my friends really, really appreciate it because I give genuine compliments and I give genuine feedback. You are impulsive. I'm so impulsive, okay? Look, uh, what am I doing to my... You see this septum piercing? Impulsive. New tattoo, impulsive. New tattoo, impulsive. I just do what feels right. Like if something just feels right, like I'm just gonna do it. You're not single, I am single. You sometimes regret cutting your hair. No, I love my short hair. You might regret getting tattoos in the future. Honestly, I think about this a lot because I'm like, am I gonna regret this? And the answer is no, because no matter what, even if I don't like my tattoos when I'm older, I'll at least be able to look back on that time in my life when I got that tattoo and be like, this is what I loved and wanted in this moment. This is what I was cherishing. This is what was important to me in this time. And it's just kind of like memories all over your body and artwork. And I just, I love art. Everything that's beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. So I think that no matter what, I'll always love my tattoos, even if I don't necessarily love the way that they look. Maybe when I'm 30, I won't love the fact that I got fairies on my leg or a shark on my forearm, but at this point in my life, I think it's really dope. So I think my 30-year-old self will respect my choices of my 20-year-old self. At least that's how I feel right now. And also, worse comes worse, I can get them removed. It's fine. Pronounced Sachi isn't as sustainable as you make out. Oh, geez, I'm offended by that one. No. Our stuff is incredibly sustainable. Uh, do we claim to be in the most sustainable brand in the world? Absolutely not. Are we always working to be more sustainable and eco-friendly? 100%. You can read all about our sustainability practices on our website, uh, pronounceashi.com. Check it out in the link down below. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new about me. Maybe you learned something new about yourself. I don't know. Once again, thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring. Their link is down below. I love you guys with all my heart. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Tringsby, TikTok, Tringsby, Twitter, Tringsby, Snapchat, Tringsby. Check me out all over the place. And uh, don't forget to check out Pronounce Tachi in the link in my description. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water. See you guys in the next vid.